This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar illustrating all the latest features in Apple Final Cut Pro from version 10.4 through 10.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to work with closed captions in Final Cut Pro. Final Cut supports SCC, which is also called CEA 608, SRT and ITT captions. We can only have one caption file or one language burned into the video. All other files are saved as sidecar or external files. We can create, import, edit, burn, and export captions. SCC has the least formatting control, ITT has the most, and SRT is in the middle. However, if you need extensive formatting, create a title. Captions are designed to convey information in a very small package. They're not designed to look good. So how do we pick which caption format we need? Because not all outlets support all formats. So it's really important before you start creating captions, which can be a painful process, that you verify the requirements of your distributor before starting. Digital cinema broadcast and cable generally wants an SRT file. YouTube prefers SCC but accepts SRT. Facebook wants SRT. Vimeo wants VTT, which Final Cut doesn't support but accepts SRT. Netflix prefers SCC and accepts SRT. Amazon Video wants SCC or ITT. And iTunes wants SCC and accepts ITT. So let me show you how this works. I need to create a caption for this. So how are we going to do that? The very easiest way is to go up to the Edit menu, go down to the very bottom of the Edit menu, select Captions, and add a caption keyboard shortcut is Option C. And it adds a caption. Notice the caption is in SRT format. And in another role that I have at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, no comma, so there's our first caption right there. Ugly without question. Doesn't have anywhere near the quality that this title does. But captions are not designed to look good. They're designed for readability for people that need help understanding what's being said. We can, of course, create captions in multiple languages. There's no limit to the number of languages that Final Cut will support. Each language is its own caption. So if I had three languages, I'd have three captions. If I want to edit the caption, double-click on it, it opens the clip up, and I'm going to add a comma. <laughs> because why not? Close the caption, click here. If you want to move between captions, you click here to jump to the previous or the next caption. And as you've already noticed, adding captions is painful, because I've got to type each one. I can change the trim for a caption by clicking and dragging to determine where it's going to start and stop, and do the same thing. For the front, I can move the caption. I can highlight it and hit the delete key and the caption's gone. Most of the time though you're not going to manually type captions. Most of the time you're going to create captions either through a transcription service or automated caption creation. Let me illustrate. Remember I said that the SRT file is the most common. If I double click it, the SRT file looks like this. It lists the number of the caption, the time code start, the time code end, and the text. Notice there's no comma after laboratory, or laboratory, depending. So I've got a bunch of captions here. It's a text file. I could, using text edit, change the caption right here. I can even change the timing if I want to do this. Nothing that prevents this caption file from being edited. And in fact, as I was creating this, I did edit it in a couple places. But how do we bring it in? So we go up to File, go down to Import, and select Captions. We select the SRT file, click Import, and that quickly, all those captions have now been added to my project. This is an SRT file. If I select the caption, go to the inspector, there's a caption editor, which allows me to add formatting like bolding and italics and underlining. I can change the color of the text, I can change the timing, but there's not a lot else I can do. I can't change the font, for instance. I can't change the size. That's why I say, if you need something which is highly designed, use a title, don't use a caption. Most of the time, companies that want an SRT file do not want font formatting. They're going to want to take out the bolding. They want to take out the color. They want captions to be as simple and straightforward as possible.
But what if you need captions other than an SRT? Let's double click this and click this downward pointing arrow and say edit roles. This opens up the roles for captions. If I want to create a new caption, I can say create an ITT caption or create a 608 caption. I can then pick which of these formats that I want to use for all of my captions. You can't mix and match captions. You can't have one caption be SRT, the next one is CEA, the next one's ITT. They've all got to be the same because of the way that they're treated on export. So this allows you to determine what your format is going to be before you create the captions. Now there's another way that we can create captions. I'm going to show it to you when you get to workflow extensions, and that is to create them using an extension. And I'll show you how that works in just a couple minutes. So remember, this is a secret here. Remember I added that comma after, after JPL. So now we want to export this. Go to File, Share, Master File. Okay, so we don't want to use proxy media. I'm going to cancel that and go back to View, Original, because I want to have the highest quality. File, Share, Master File. And we're going to go check on roles. And here's where you have to add a checkbox. If this is not checked, you're not going to export captions. If this is checked, you are going to export captions. And most people that accept SRT do not want text formatting. They don't want colors. They don't want bold. They just want the text. And we're going to click OK. And we'll save this to the desktop. And the very first thing that gets saved is the caption file. Right there. There's my original. If I double click it, notice that there is no comma after laboratory. This is the new one. Double click it. And here it does have font formatting and there is the comma after laboratory. Just to show you that that's the exported version. We now have our caption file and we have our video file. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering all the latest features in Apple Final Cut Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 302. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and Time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. Almost 2,000 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.